Hey, how is it going? Jacob here and in this video I'll show you how to create your own personal uh, portfolio website. So basically we'll, we'll be downloading the template which I have prepared for you and in, in, in the and later you'll be able to change your information so you'll be able to put your photo, your uh, personal information, your name, surname, uh, your personal skills, uh, what, what are your services if you're like going to uh, create the websites or if you're going to teach others uh, or whatever you actually going to do and of, of course I'll show you how to set up it correctly so you'll be able to run it locally on your machine uh, so yeah let's do it all right so first of all to go to my github github is a special website which uh, stores a lot of different uh, projects so go to my github it's a github.com slash jacobowski and there will be like uh, in the repositories there will be a special repository called profitable programmer portfolio also the link uh, will be somewhere uh, I'll give you the link uh, also as well but yeah if you don't have it just go to this website website and then click clone or download and if you are familiar with git you can clone it but if you are a beginner just click just click uh, download a zip file all right Okay, so now uh, just open the zip file and uh, let me show you. I'm on the Mac, but if you're on the Windows, this is not a problem at all. All you have to do is you have to unzip it like this. And here, as you can see, you'll have a couple of files and I'll tell you just in a moment what are those files for, okay? But now what you have to do is you need some kind of code editor, right? And I'll recommend you to download the Visual Studio Code. I'll be using the Visual Studio Code in this video, so I also recommend you to, to do so. Just click download and open it, all right? And now, what you wanna do is you, we can actually, from now on, open our, uh, our personal portfolio. So you have the index.html file, okay? So this is our main file which has the source code for our portfolio. Then we have assets and components. Those are like some code which is additional, which has some other functionality, uh, which is stored, uh, which is imported to index.html and you don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is index.html and we'll be changing this file. And readme is the file, uh, readme which I put here. Actually, this is the readme file. You don't have to worry about it at all as well. Okay, so what you can do from this on, you can just click it like this and it will open in your browser, okay? So this is how your portfolio website looks like. As you can see, there are like some animations like this. There are a button get in touch, which will, uh, when you click it, it will open uh, your mailbox and will allow you to write the email there are social media uh, links to social media with icons really sweet one right for example github instagram uh, youtube as you can see it all works right okay uh, then we have my experience and in this uh, in, in this uh, section you can edit uh, of course everything i'll show you just in a moment how then we have work uh, here you can put your personal projects, all right? So for example, you have buttons to view view the current project. Of course, uh, this is all not working. This is just a template. So if, if I click a visit website, I, I made it to go to Google, all right? But yeah, this is uh, how you can edit it. And of course, if you are teaching, for example, you can have your own section here. So you might be, for example, become a uh, some Py Python coach or JavaScript coach and teach some students, okay? And in the end, you have those a footer and again, call to action. If if someone is browsing your portfolio, then you have start now. And again, this is the mail. All right, so beautiful. This is how our page looks like. So now let's open it in a code editor. We are going to open Visual Studio Code, all right? Like this, uh, all right. And now let's say that we are here. What we're going to do is we're going to open the folder. Uh, we are going to our downloads like this. And I should have it somewhere here. So it's the profitable. 
okay, I believe it is profitable programmer. Uh, if you have like, if you have it like somewhere else, just open it. All right. So this is how our uh, co like our project is structured. All we care about is only this HTML, and we'll be editing this. Okay. So let me show you one thing right now. Again, this is our uh, this is our file. As you can see here, this is the directory. The, the full directory to our file index HTML. This is the static file, so it doesn't require any server and ru server running in the background. So right now, let let me show you. If, uh, for example, we change "Hi, I am Jacob" to "Alex," right? And if you refresh it, boom, it changes the title. Okay. What we can do is, for example, we can also do. Uh, I mean, we for sure want to change our profile picture, right? So what I did here is I put it simple the profile.jpg uh, so we can go to uh, assets images and we can just for example replace this profile uh, profile picture with our own profile picture so let's say that uh, I have like some let's say that I have like some other profile picture let's go to my desktop, I believe I have a couple of profile pictures. <laughs> exactly, right? So let's say I want to put this this file here, right? What I'm going to do is I, I'll copy it simply here, right? I'll delete my I'll delete my current photo like this. Okay, move to trash, boom. And I, all I have to do is I have to just replace this one with profile.jpg, uh, right? And let's see right now if it change boom the photo is changed okay so it's perfect it's working so now I'm Alex uh, and here as you can see after this there's I and three dots and what's going to be here is actually not HTML anymore it's a JavaScript okay so how to change what is written here there's as you can see a uh, span ID written text we can change it simply by looking for it in the whole uh, in the whole uh, project. So we go here to this uh, to this sign and type write in text, okay? And as we can see, there's uh, app.js. We can click it. And as you can see here, there's a special function written in the JavaScript. And here there are a strings array. And what you can do is you can modify this. You can modify the whole array and put your own uh, sentences here. For example, I solve problems, let's say, mm, solve complex problems, okay? So now when we refresh it, we go through the whole array, right? Teach programming to people and then in the end, solve complex problems, boom finish all right so we can modify it play around it uh, yeah perfect let's go back to our index.html because this is when we'll be modifying almost everything okay so now the next element is this button uh, mail to get in touch okay so as you can see this is this and here what you're gonna do is you're gonna change your email okay you can change your email and you can even change the call to action for example contact me all right exactly now you can change those uh, free links to social media all you have to do is you have to put your own names or you can literally delete them if you don't wanna you can just delete them for example I just deleted YouTube okay perfect let's go a little bit down to the section called experience all right so this uh, and I, I want to show you also one trick here. So basically, whenever we are on our portfolio website and we are not sure actually w which section is it in the code, we can open our browser tools by simply clicking right click, inspect. Okay, now on the right, you can see the whole HTML structure. Okay, and if you hover it, then it will show you where are we in the code okay so for example this section id experience 
we have rope column and couple of diffs, okay? And you can find it in the code here and modify it, all right? So here you have front-end, back-end tools, and you can modify it, all right? So now, for example, what if you don't know any of uh, back-end tools or languages or whatever, right? And you don't want to have this column. What you can do is you can simply delete it or comment it. For example, command slash will comment the whole block like this. And now if we refresh it, there is some problem, right? Because there's a space inside. So what we can do, we're going to change the class here to six. And now it will take the whole row because this is the bootstrap. This is the bootstrap uh, part, which is divided by simply 12 units. Let me show you. Bootstrap. Let's go to Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a HTML, CSS library. So basically a lot of things here are already implemented in the Bootstrap and we don't have to about we don't have to worry about the CSS. But let me show you something, okay? There's a grid system in the Bootstrap, okay? As you can see here, this is a grid uh, system. So basically this is possible maximum to use 12 columns a row, okay. And what we are doing here is we are using six uh, six columns as a one big column, and we are using half of the space here and half of the space here, and this one is commented out. All right, let let's uh, go back to portfolio and refresh it. All right, now it's much better. So if we uncomment it now. Let me show you how it looked like before. Yeah. So as you can see, it helped it move them slightly better uh, to the to the uh, center. Oh, sorry. Okay. But yeah, let's move. Let's uncomment it for now. Let's have all of three rows. Okay. So again, you can modify everything here, and then. Uh, you have work part, work section. You can also modify those. So basically, here you have different rows. Uh, what you can do, you can modify the source image. Again, this is project one. You have to just replace the project or change it over here. Same with those two. And then uh, in the end, uh, you have, for example, teaching section, all right? So if you are, for example, a teacher and you have have like uh, some sessions with students, you're teaching them how to code, you can modify this. As you can see, this this part here is pretty cool. And again, this is not simple HTML. We have to a little bit dive in the code to do that. So basically, this is class teaching domains. We can find it in our, uh, our editor. I simply pasting over here. And again, this is JavaScript, okay? This is the whole function written in the JavaScript. And what you can do, you can edit those words, okay? You can change their weights, and basically it will change the whole behavior which is displayed here. So again, play around it how you like, and in the end you have, of course, your uh, section, the footer section, and call to action section. Just play around it, uh, edit this as you want, and you should be good to go. And this is the, in this video, I'll only show you how to edit it as I showed you, but in the next video, I'm going to show you um, how to actually deploy it live. So basically, when you, for example, type some kind of domain like this, uh, you will see actual address, all right? and your website will be live for everyone. All right, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.